Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So today's episode's focus is going to be the mountainside entertainment for our beavers. And if we bring back UI, I have had a bit of a play around about uh, or, or how we want to place things. So a couple of things that I have here, if I just click on one of those. So first of all, I would love to do this Ferris wheel right on this cliff over here. I mean... They've got the houses already on the cliff, so why not add one of those those wheels here as well? That would be pretty uh, pretty awesome. I have it paused for the time being. And then right now, okay, so we also have a carousel right here in the middle. Oh no, they're already building. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. And then the temple, I wanted to kind of raise the mountain just a little bit. This side, no, I don't want to leave it as it is right now. We're definitely going to make it look a little bit more natural, but essentially, yeah. So we have this grand entrance over here, greeted by a couple of shrines and some decorations as well. And the temple at the top, actually, I'm, I am going to pause this for the time being and maybe a couple more buildings in here as well. Just don't want anyone to get stuck. Okay, it would be really cool if we see some flames in the background as we enter this area so yeah that's exactly what we are gonna do now before these beavers get too crazy well i guess they have nothing else to do so uh where is our oh here it is okay why don't we unpause you slightly higher priority perhaps as well okay and we will steal one more oh you're still connected aren't you okay there we go Let's uh, steal this building here as well with four of the bots. Okay, so hopefully we can start terraforming this zone pretty quickly. Right, so with this uh, new extension of the mountain, I do want this canal to still go around or through. Well, technically we can't really go through, or can we? I guess we could have done it this way, but then we won't be able to put the terrain blocks in here. I don't want to have too many levees here, just a couple sort of uh, decoration ones but I don't want to build this whole hill out of levees so yeah okay so what we'll do is I already have those dynamites in here so we are gonna try and get them built as quick as we can so that way we can allow for the water to pass through this little canal around the temple okay nice and perhaps you can do these ones as well oh oh no where are these guys going Okay, I have a strong feeling someone will get stuck very soon. What are you constructing here? Oh, these are the guys from the terraforming station. Okay, well, fair enough. Anyways, we've got a couple of shrines in already, and it seems someone might have started using them, which is pretty cool. Okay, so other things we can do, probably unpause you and the construction of this as well, because I think the Ferris wheel... Should be pretty pretty quick to construct. Okay. Just a few side platforms that we do have to unpause. What else is paused over here? Okay, there we go. And this one. And the wheel itself as well. Okay. You are probably going to get a slightly higher priority because I don't want anyone to get stuck in here. Alright, there we go. Now, the next thing we are going to need in here is power, of course. So what we do have here... We are slowly starting to cover up all of those not so good looking power wires with some roofs as decorations as well. Okay, and it works out pretty well because they do get, or they should get, if I can find one of the beavers. Let's grab, okay, you over here. Let's have a look. Aesthetics, roof, yep. Okay, so that's good. So other things we have been doing whilst I was trying to figure out the right design for our entertainment zone well the beavers have almost managed to construct everything in here and complete the hanging gardens of power there's only a few windmills left and that's because i've taken all the columns out from uh, from this one here it seems well we do have a few spare ones so why don't we bring let's have a look one two three four you guys can move over here i think we still oh we don't have really anything in here okay well that's not good so how about we remove this link okay and now you should have access oh we don't actually have any any biofuel in here but perhaps we can fix that as well by 
Are you? Okay, you're not connected now. How about this? Alright, there we go. You got 200 biofuel, so that should keep us going for a little while, I think. And uh, shortly we shall send a few more beavers in here. Okay, now let's have a look. You need to be linked as well. So yeah, we're also doing another layer of the of the levee wall over here, just to expand it a little bit. Otherwise, it would have looked a little bit odd over here with this massive, empty, kind of like a like a wall. Yeah. All right. And what we could do here, well, once they build them, of course, we can put some trees. We can put some trees around this area as well. I think we still had a forest there. Yes, we do. Climbing up here is fine. Uh, okay, okay. So we still need to have access to this level as well. Okay, beautiful. And then we can do a few more trees around this whole area. Yeah, why don't we place them down already? It's just going to be a little bit quicker. And I guess we should probably do the same on, on the opposite side as well. How about we raise the terrain just a tiny bit? Okay, that means we are going to have to bring a forester here too. Alright, so the construction seems to be going pretty pretty nicely. And we can also place a few more dynamites. I think I do want to drop the level. Actually, do you know what? We should drop this level before it gets fully built as well. Oh no, it's going to be a little tricky to see, but Okay, there it is. So let's uh, remove all of you. Yep, and we shall leave it at least two levels deep. Right, this means we are going to have to rebuild this zone. Or this corner over here, which is no problem at all. Okay, and we are going to need a monument. Actually, let me think about it. If they construct all these things, yeah, access is going to be... A problem I think so it might be best to leave all of those levees or the decoration blocks paused for the time being all right let's do that we are gonna leave these dynamites in place because I think they might need hmm that's a very good question actually would it be better if they go from the top over here I think it might be so once we notice that there's no bots in this area, actually, never mind. They can escape from, from around here as well. All right. Let's just try and make sure that we don't detonate any of those bots. Okay, there you go. So now they hopefully will start going around this area. Right, the next thing that we can probably do here is let's remove this levee. And in about 6.8 days, we should be able to let some water escape into into this canal as well and therefore making this whole area look a little bit more nice in a way because right now it's kind of depressing with with all the land dry yeah so let's leave the beavers continue with the construction over here there is something else i do want to show and this is the cliff over here it's been coming along pretty nicely we've got quite a big team of well, we had actually more. I stole basically these terraforming stations in here because they weren't being used. And the columns have been raising the hill very nicely indeed. We've got, I'd say, well, not quite a half, but a solid 30% at least. Maybe even 40. And uh, I've had to put in a couple of platforms as well to give them a bit more access around this area. Alright, nothing to do in range. Why is that so? I guess we can pause you for now. And since there isn't a lot to construct here anymore, we can probably pause a couple of these builder huts as well. Alright, that leaves us with a few spare columns. So why don't we take eight of you off here. Alright, uh, do we need them elsewhere? Let's have a look. Oh, we do have about eight more jobs. Okay, right. Let's bring them in as well. 104 right now. So let's do... No, let's put 112. Okay. And then we'll be jumping over. Beautiful. Uh, right. So you guys... Hmm. Oh, I see. What's the problem? So if we unpause you, you are going to complain... Right, right, right. 
And that is a little bit tricky. Actually, never mind. We can put the gate just like so. And now we should have access and uh, hopefully start bringing in some resources here as well. Because yes, we are definitely going to need some more logs in this area. Okay, 6.5 days. I think they might be able to construct all of those levees. Well, if we give them another 4 or let's see, 8 pots, but ooh, where can we find some spare ones? Not in here. That's interesting. So where are the eight spare ones? Oh, they are still here. Okay, I thought they jumped over, but let's do this. So from New Cliff, we are going to send you to to there. Let's do we'll send ten over, but we take two back. I think that should be enough, right? Oh no, we still might need yeah, two more. All right, and now we are fully staffed in here as well. Hopefully the... Let's see, are you prioritized? Yes, you are. So we just have to wait for the logs to start arriving. Let's see. Got a couple in already. Okay, beautiful. So let's leave them be as well. It seems nighttime is arriving once again. So why don't we skip this and we'll be back in the morning. Right, so we do have the platforms already in place. And most of the power cables seem to be running all the way here already as well. So the last thing left for us is the Ferris wheel itself. It takes 500 horsepower. Okay, resource wise we're fine. And I think power wise actually it's not a problem as well. Since we do have a ton of those batteries keeping us nice and safe. Okay, so all we need now is some gears and treated planks. And the next thing we probably have to figure out is how we how are we gonna connect the power so I think in the long run this is going to be the main access over here yeah I believe so which means <laughs> do we want to keep this link I have a feeling we might have to because of the access this is already read in here I'm not quite sure if it can go all the way around here and then still connect. It's orange right now because we do have this little shortcut, but I think we can uh, test it out very soon once it is built. All right, there we go. Let's have a look at this as well. Well, that is very lovely indeed. Yeah, it looks pretty scary on this cliff over here, but... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's try and uh, hook it up with power real quick and see what it's going to look like. Uh, I guess for now, hmm, shall we bring the power down from here or should we place some roofs above here? Okay, first let's uh, test out the connection. So if we were to sever this link, oh yeah, it's uh, almost but not quite there. Right. So perhaps we do have to bring some roads. Hmm. Maybe what we could do actually is if we don't want to have these roads in this section. We kind of do. But then having two en entrances won't look very good either. Oh well, I guess we're just going to have to go with it. Right, so let's bring them over. Uh, if the roads are there, you are going to run all the way up until here. Okay. Now, let's take the corner bits. We are going to need them just like so. All right. And beautiful. So, I think with this bit in here, we can just do the universal one. One of you. And connect you up just like so. All right. And the same thing in here as well. So, a couple of cables and there we go. Alright, we can do the roofs and uh, tidy up this zone a little bit later, but for the time being, if we can connect you, we shall give you a slightly higher priority as well. If we can, please highlight all of these sections, that would be lovely. And there we go, so hopefully they will prioritize our power cables, because I do want to connect you up as quick as we can, so... Yeah, I'd love to see what it looks like. 
having some beavers in the in the ferry's wheel as well. And what we have in this corner, yep, a couple of mud baths just to make sure that the beavers can clean them up and relax. Oh, right. Yep, kind of knew this was going to happen, but there we go. Just gonna have to remove the stairs for the time being. Let them construct all these dirt blocks over here and then we shall do the stairs again. All right, there you go. I have a feeling we might want to hmm just to speed it up how many more days okay five days and there's still quite a few blocks in here okay not too many perhaps what is it one two levels but it's nothing too crazy and having eight bots as well running here all day and night yeah maybe we won't steal anymore because this is going to take quite a bit of time as well. And the more bots we can have constructing this cliff over here, the better it is. Okay, so we'll uh, skip this night as well. And hopefully by morning we have a bit more progress already. Right, so there we go. We have all the platforms already in place. And it seems some of the power lines are now starting to go in place as well, which is great. They shouldn't take too long since they only require one log each. And okay, yeah, couple more guys, you got this. Here we go, power's already running through up until here. We've got just a little over 17,000 hamster power. What's the wind speed right now? Okay, so it is pretty high. Lovely. Here we go, all the way till the end. And you have a slightly higher priority than the rest of the projects as well, so... That should be the very last link in here. Yep. What are you carrying? Treated planks. Why are you taking these ones? Is that for their mod paths? Oh yeah. I see. But they don't have a high priority, so... A little surprised to see that they're building this section first. Oh well. And same with our temple hill as well. The plateau seems to be almost complete. Let's have another look. Okay. Just two more links over here. A few more resources. Right, so with this uh, giant pool over here, we don't have a lot of water right now because I was dynamiting our way down as well. And the reason why I'm doing this is we do have those fancy metal flood gates. So this one is six high. But I'd love to put a 10 high over here. So if that is 6, we've gone down 2 levels. So 8, 1 more, 9. Okay, so after this layer, we just have to do 1 more. Which would be... is going to be very, very cool indeed. Just means we can hold a lot more water and release into this zone when the, when the droughts are a little bit longer. But I think even with the 6 level 1 now... We would have been fine if we didn't lower the level before, but oh well, it's it's okay. Right, so is the power through? So let's take a look. Something is not linking up. Are you guys on different heights? Oh, yes you are. Okay, how silly of me. I guess it's just a little difficult to see what height they are. Uh, are we able to place... No, we are not. Okay. So, what's happening here? Right, there we go. And now give you the highest priority as well. Almost linked up. And this power wire seems to be also completed. Once we get the last mod mud bath in here as well then uh, yeah the well-being of these beavers should go up pretty uh, pretty nicely and the carousel seems to be also complete so there we go let's try and grab one of these adults over here oh only 17 i guess we don't have the showers here sunflower seeds i see cat cell crackers as well oh maple pastries Okay, we do have to start exporting you as well. Oh, campfires and rooftop terraces is another thing we... We do have to try and squeeze in this zone. I mean, space is pretty limited. 
but I'm sure we can figure figure something out. Even if we don't have a lot of space for the campfires on the main hill here, we can always construct them on the other side as well. Because, uh, yeah, I guess a lot of this can actually be ripped out because it wasn't supposed to be permanent here anyways. You guys are having a bit of fun over there. Have you constructed? No, not quite yet, but I'm sure this will be done in the morning. Another day has started and it seems our power wire was finally linked up as well because the ferris wheel is now spinning. All right, that is very cool indeed. All we need now is one of those lucky beavers to jump on it. And uh, yeah, I think we're operational. All right, so another thing that I almost forgot to mention was that when we were constructing these futuristic cliffside houses over here, there was a couple of lovely ideas as well that we should place some uh, wheat farms underneath these houses because it's uh yeah it's pretty empty and i do want to put some uh like a bit of water or rivers running through this zone as well so i have already dynamited a little bit of a canal here it did initially go right through or follow this hill as we can see there's a bit of a canal here but what happened was of course this um you guys are stuck again as well oh dear okay uh, right, maybe we should have... Hmm, right, so how about we pause these lines and this one. This shrine has to come out. So now hopefully you guys can run outside. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> since they've done the first block in here, what we could do... Why don't we give them a bit of access? Yep. The stairs go just like so. And uh, hopefully you can build this very quick. And then we can seal up this here as well. Right, yeah, so this canal is going to go around and it will get its water from this pool. Alright, let's have a quick look at the progress of our new hill as well. So they are doing this section now. That one's almost done. All right, let's have a quick look at the access as well. Uh, looks like everything will be fine. Yeah, I don't think we we have to worry about this. It is a little slow, of course, but since I put in those platforms, now they can also do some other areas as well. And what I also did, we do have the ladders over here. So this allows them to run a little further, just like this guy over here, and start doing at least the bottom two levels that he can reach okay right so looking at this zone here as well if we do want to make it look a little bit more natural i guess we could take a few terrain blocks and raise this zone just a little bit sort of random but yeah well that doesn't look too random at all okay um, let's take this one out. And one over here. There we go. And this corner is not very good looking either. So why don't we... Might even have to get rid of a few of those trees in here. Okay, so you can go there. And maybe a few more blocks in this zone. Right. That might be a little bit better and what could also be pretty cool is if we can have some trees growing on these terrain blocks as well. Okay, so another three days until we get the rainy season. I would very much love to see how this zone looks once we get it nice and green. So another thing we do need in here actually is a forester. Yep, we shall place you... Actually, yeah, we do need you here because we need trees on the cliffs here as well. Uh, you guys seem to be complaining. Why is no one bringing any resources into this mud bath? Well, we'll give you a slightly higher priority and hopefully we get you constructed as well. So that way we can have them all operational. All right, so what we'll do now, it's nighttime. We'll skip ahead about 3.2 days 
and then we shall see how this area will look like and here we go so we do have the rainy season already and the pool has been filling up for more than a day now as well so any second now well if we weren't releasing so much water out of it yeah any minute now this pool should start overflowing a little bit and then we should have the surrounding areas here nice and green as well something i did have to do was uh, place those triple floodgates because i realized well if the water runs in here and we don't have those hills up then uh, we are gonna have a bit of a problem potentially flooding this distribution post as well which is quite crucial to our uh, other district where we are mining some scrap metal and all right so there we go this whole area is starting to look very lovely and green now we do also have those mud baths now operational as well. And with the temple area, well, it's just taking a little bit longer than predicted. But yeah, we're just going to let them construct the, the rain blocks at the back over here. And then um, we should be able to start placing everything where it needs to go, I think. I believe so, yeah. So that's the highest level. Okay, so that's good. All we now need is access to these sections in here. Oh, you've blocked yourself in here. Okay, I see what's going on. So why don't we give you a temporary access just like so. So that way we can complete all the furthest blocks there as well. All right, well, that's the last of these ones. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get this plateau here green. So we cannot place any trees in this area which is very unfortunate indeed so we may have to just revert to placing shrubs all the way around here yeah that's a oh no what's happening here hmm bit of a flood it seems but it should stabilize very quickly yep there we go just a tiny little spill Okay, we also do have a few trees already growing as well, which is very awesome indeed. Now with this zone here, I guess for the time being, what we shall do is... Let's, uh, yeah, let's do some, uh, some berries over here as well, just to make this area look a little bit more busy. I guess this zone here can remain empty for the time being. Most likely a lovely little spot for a few campfires. I wonder how many can we squeeze in here without making it look too crowded of course so let's grab the well-being again and right okay so maybe something like so would be would be good for us and then the roads through as well okay access wise i think we'll be fine but we are gonna pause you no we don't need to pause you Okay, you can stay there. Perhaps we pause you instead. Because I do want to place a few more a few more trees and most likely behind here as well. And on this corner. Do you have the range? Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. So this campfire can be constructed. And now all we got to do is we just have to wait for them to finish those terrain blocks in, in here as well. Not too many left, so... Yeah, let's uh, leave the beavers for uh, for a little while and we'll be back as soon as this section is done. Alright, so there we go. The final link is complete now. All we have left to do is try and complete this uh, three level high terrain. And then we can start placing things where they need to go again. I think mo with most of the things we can actually already do that. So we do have those three level high blocks just like so what we also need is a few more terrain blocks i believe yeah looks like just about here okay so why don't we place you first as well and we do have to change this a little bit around because otherwise it's not going to be symmetrical so all right we'll bring you up again two levels up and let's have a look what are you guys doing here Okay, let's get this section done, this one. And then we should be able to, yeah, 
allowed the water to go through that side. But with the wall being completed, we can already let some water into this zone as well. Alright, so here we go. Very lovely indeed. And it's going to fill up most of it. Actually all of it. So once this zone is full of water, we will not need those triple floodgates anymore. For the time being, however, oh no, you've... Actually, never mind, this might be pretty good. If we pause you for a second, you're still a high priority, which means... <laughs> I guess we can start building the Flame of Progress here. Alright, and the temple will, yes, have to be the very last thing we construct here. Right, what are you? Oh, you are constructing this one. That's why you're all running into this zone. Well, why don't you run from the top? Not entirely sure. But I do hope they put some explosives there as well. Alright, so let's take a quick look. If we grab the temple, you are going to be, I think, somewhere here. Yeah, but now we don't really need those platforms in here. Or maybe we leave them until we figure out what we want to place them, place there. Okay, so we could push you back a little bit and leave some roads around. That could be an option as well. Yeah, it's a shame that you're ground only, because if you could go on platforms, we could do like a water drop off here and make this area nice and green as well. The dirt blocks are now complete, which means we can construct all the other decorations as well. I think they're still... Yeah, they seem to be taking this shortcut over there. So we shall leave it for for the time being at least. Uh, I think it's time to detonate you. Alright, let's see if they can uh, still construct it. Oh, that's interesting. Seems they do like to climb up those slopes over here. Ah. Uh, okay. That's very interesting indeed. I don't think we want that. But... At least we've learned something new. Alright, so we'll skip the night, speed it up a little bit, and we'll be back as soon as this area is complete as well. And here we go. So the last few logs are being now delivered to our temple. We've got the shrubs in all the way around this zone as well. And alright, let's speed up the time. All we need is three more logs, guys. Three more. Alright, that's the shrubs done now, I believe. Okay, just a couple more logs. And is anyone bringing any logs here? Okay, got one more, two more. Ah, finally. So, just one shrub left, but that's being completed now as well, and let's take a look. Alright, so that's what our temple area now looks like. Well, not just temple area, all of the entertainment really. We've got the ferris wheel, the carousel, a couple of campfires, the temple, shrines. Oh, I did notice that we are missing one shrine. All right, where is it? Right. Get in there and we'll have this built very, very shortly as well. But yeah, so that's essentially what our entertainment zone looks like now. We are just waiting for a few more trees to be placed. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty lovely. So all we have to do now is just uh, figure out where can we put those rooftop terraces and what else do we have? Campfires we have already. Yep, this is what we need. Uh, these are fine. Well, showers probably as well. Maybe we can create like a little private shower block for, for everyone. A few medical beds would be nice to have in this zone as well. Shrines we have... Oh, Littles. Okay, so Littles are definitely going to have to go into this pool somehow. And let's see. Everything else we do have. So our well-being has definitely gone up quite a bit as well. Everyone's rocking 33 or 4 now. If you remember, then uh, previously they only had about 18. So all we got to do is, I think, give them some books. Maybe a few monuments in here as well. And then that should be it, really. Now if you take a quick look over here as well. So this mountain... Yeah, probably gonna take a little bit more time. 
but we are halfway there for sure. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.